Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, I'd like to lead off with a question that Scott brought up, which is uh, about when you're practicing, varying the size of the movements, because that develops different qualities in your in your kung fu whenever you when you do that so when you're practicing whatever it is you um, you want to explore the different expressions you can kind of get locked into a particular way of doing things and might even think it's the right way and and so whenever someone else something else presents itself which requires a bigger or a smaller form it can look um off-putting uh so the uh, the reason for it is that you um you want to develop a, a practice where you can have movements are which are kind of in your comfort zone so that you are exploring something you're getting a form that is something which is well within your reach doesn't require a lot of expansion so then you can learn to relax into that it doesn't require a lot of physical effort in order to make you know to make make it happen and that way you get to to really tune into what's being done and to avoid the extraneous muscular contraction the, the tension that that can accompany that can accompany doing something where you don't know what you're doing and so you start off with you something which is sort of a medium range and then a you can then expand the motions so that you are actually reaching out and getting something much bigger and feeling the energy that is that accompanies that expansion. So the bigger you are, the more you got more energy it requires to sustain that shape, that that structure. And particularly if it's, you know, like a, a big form or something where there, there's requires postures which are are big and maybe deep and, and low. So then you're now you've taken it. Once you've gotten your gotten acclimated to relaxing into that then you learn to relax into something which it requires a lot more energy to sustain and when that happens then you start to build up a reservoir within your body mind that welcomes that expansion it says oh yeah i can do that so i'm not required to just do these very small things that i can actually push the envelope a little bit I can stress the system a little bit because in that stress, I can then find the song. I can find the, the letting go. So the, then you are learning how to handle that big energy and be able to move around in that. And then the third step is making it really really small so that you're taking that big energy and putting it into a very small container when that happens then you're able to create effects with very uh with seemingly no effort because you're taking that energy and you're able to express it in a very small motion so the um, getting that um, that comparison, be able to to do that. So then you're able to shift gears and find out what's the appropriate structure, what's the appropriate energy for a given situation. You're not limited to any one particular way of doing it, and you then can also you know learn to be able to identify with the energetic part of the structure more so than the physical so then 
you're able to to um, summon that energy and express it through the body in, in a way which is uh, surprising and disproportional to the uh, to the amount of effort that's being uh, that is apparently being exerted. So the uh, give you an idea about about that last part there. So the learning how to to feel into the 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 structure you get you get a a memory of a felt sense of of what it takes the energy that goes into doing something say at a very physical level and then you take that away and then you just summon the energy itself so let's say um, uh, you grab your uh your wrist with your hand right say like that and you're going to reach out with your hand like that right you, you reach out with your with your with your arm and pull back uh with the other with your with your other arm so and it's sort of like an isometric kind of deal but we're just doing it not as a uh, a muscle building thing but just as a way of exploring putting a lot of energy so you just keep cranking up the energy more 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 so that you're feeling feeling that that you're the more you reach out the more you pull back and you have that as a as a memory right you have so now you let go of that and you recall the feeling of that of that movement of that dynamic uh opposition there then you just bring your hand back. This time, you're not going to put any effort into it. You're just going to feel what that felt like because you have a memory now of what that felt like whenever you know, my left arm here is reaching out and my right arm is pulling back. And so I have that, I have that memory. And you can you know, pull on very gently just if you, if you need to get that. So we're creating a memory, a felt sense, and a memory of that felt sense which is an energy. So then now you separate out and you put your hands down and allow that to wash away, disappear. And now you go back and this time, you're not gonna even bring your arms up. You just feel into that energy. You feel into the effort being that you use you have a memory of that and now bring up your your hand in this case it's my left hand and i want to feel it reaching out and i also want to feel it being pulled back although there is no there is no physical opposition there but i have the contradictory impulses going on there these are poles in opposition. I'm reaching out and pulling back at the same time. And I feel into my arm and I feel the activity that's going on there. I'm feeling a, an enhanced blood flow at the, at, the, at the gross level, but there's also something else going on there. You know, there's, there's a sense of fullness of uh, heat. There's also a sense of expansion, a sense of also like, um, you know, kind of gunning your engine at the stoplight. There's a, a readiness potential there. My brain is activating everything it needs to do except for the muscular contraction that's it to do that. So I've disconnected from my motor function. This is what we do in our dreams all the time when we want to reach out, but the motor function is disconnected and we have the brain is manufacturing the idea of, of movement, but we can't actually execute. But we get that feeling of that. And then you put it down and then you just feel it. Just feel it into your arm. So this is, a, this is what we're doing with, with these things. So whenever we get into the medium, large, small, it's a similar kind of idea. We get a, a felt sense of the motion 
and then we we uh, make it bigger and then we make it much smaller and then we make it disappear so that there's nothing the physical activity is gone but the energy is still there and so we're shifting our our idea of sort of uh, a happy medium to very substantial very big to smaller 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 insubstantial to nothing which then whatever is there when we're not doing anything is is what's is the insubstantiality that is actually driving that whole operation uh before we do anything uh, any questions on that explanation I, I didn't want to get too wonky on you there but uh let me know if it that came through yeah scott uh no that was uh it was very clear so um i'm assuming this is prob this is how it wastes in the hour three against the wall right uh it's how all the internal arts i saw an aikido demonstration and uh, a guy who is broken japanese he was explaining exactly what i was trying to do there you know but he was you know basically you know, miming it because it was a uh, he wasn't able to uh, he didn't the english skills weren't there for it but it was it was the same idea it's like oh yeah we this is what we do too it's like you you start off you practice your aikido very big very big you know and and all these motions and and everybody cooperates and there is a kind of that thing and then you get the feel of it and you make it smaller 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 till then you're able to boop, able to with the flick of the wrist make big things happen so that's that's very much like Wei Liao. it's like uh, what young Fukui does it's uh it's it is basically all higher level internal martial arts follow this principle you just keep making it smaller so that it looks like you uh like you're not doing nothing and uh and on a physical level you are doing very little but you're doing something very big on the insubstantial level because that's where the work is being done cool anybody else all good okay so uh let's uh let's do a uh you know what i like to do i like to move forward into the next topic and then we're going to include that in to the uh the next thing we want to do we'll use that as a way of exploring this idea so uh last week i mentioned about doing a uh the spring tiger and uh so we're uh hard to tell with the, with the snow on the ground outside but we are according to the chinese calendar we are in spring so this is the season of wood is governed by the element of wood and the organs are the um liver and the gallbladder and um so the energy is one of excitement we've gone from the passivity and the piece of uh water and we're now things are starting to get excited so imagine a you know a, the daffodils are starting to poke their little noses out even though it's you know there's snow on the ground it's like they're saying mm, it, it, it's time buds are starting to happen on the forsythia and uh and the peonies so it's like you know hey guys it's it's february you know but they think it's it's spring and what that is that energy of mm, pushing through of uh, feeling the resistance and just saying no nah, i will not be denied that that energy that's wood energy that's a, it's and wood is a very straight line energy and um it reaches and um the emotion attached to it is sometimes translated as anger and um but um you know it's a, it's not the uh, lashing out kind of anger it's more of the that 
determination, I, I prefer to think of it as. And, um, you know, particularly watching the Olympics, watching the determination on these guys who are just pushing, pushing, pushing way, you know, way beyond mortal limits to get to where they want to go. And that same kind of thing. So it requires an anger and uh, that that is um, kind of, it's transformed by the other energies into something which is, which is useful. It's not the anger of a tantrum. It's the anger of, I'm going to do this. And so that's the wood energy. So it's, it's a, it builds up an excitement in the, in, in the system. So we're going from the peace of winter into, we're going from, from the, the yin part of the year to now we're, uh, we're starting to climb it up again, going from yin to yang. And so mm, there's a little excitement happening there. So the um, other thing, the characteristic of, of spring and wood is it, um, it's about that connective tissue system. It's about the tendons and, and ligaments. And, and so that's very much uh, uh, up my alley and something I've you know, talked about, written about. But the, um, the way we activate our connective tissue in, um, in the wood element is the fingernails. You want to feel your fingernails. You want to feel them, feel the, almost get itchy. For me, it's not almost, it's like they're, they're itchy. It's like, ah, they want to do it. And so if you, um, if you take your hand, stick it on your head, come saw, and then you just, with your fingertips, you're just kind of massaging your scalp. You're just feeling that you're not squeezing the whole hand. You're just, just grabbing, massaging with your fingertips. And feel your fingernails as you do that. So feel them from the inside. So the fingernails are a, uh, you know, they're, there's the outside, which we're most familiar with, but also they're on the inside, which we don't usually notice until we get a hangnail or something like that. But there's a, uh, where they connect up to the rest of your finger. So your hands are, you're getting these claws and they're going like that, right? So you're, you're, you're grabbing with those, with your fingers. There's not tension in the hands because you're not going to get, you know, all tense up, but you're feeling the tensegrity as you do that. And as you do that, it activates the tensegrity throughout the whole system. And it feeds that wood chi into, into the whole system. So you want to get that, that quality there in, uh, in what we're going to be doing. That, And this is something you can do anytime you want. Anytime you feel like you need some, some wood, you just, just feel those fingernails. You can do it, you know, you can touch yourself and just feel it and just feel, you know, feel like you're, you're a cat and you're kind of scratching your, uh, scratching the cat, the scratching post. But you, uh, you know, once you get familiar with that, just like we were doing with the other thing, you get familiar with that energy and it's like, oh, they're there, you know, and you feel in that fingertips and that gets you, um, that gets things moving, that gets that wood chi going. And so, um, um, cool. Any questions on this so far? We're, everybody got uh, got a feeling of that? Yeah, Jonathan. Um, when I brought Fook to the Open Center, that's the one thing I remember him emphasizing. I don't know whether it was spring or not. Was that that nails? He kept emphasizing feeling the nails, and I keep forgetting to do it. But it it almost seems primal like at all times why would you not want to connect you you put so much emphasis on like the index finger and reaching but boy it does seem that helps that right if you're into the nails like is there any time of year you would not want to bring attention to your nails as a, as a, as a prominent part of what we're doing well you want to have your um all elements available to you at all times right so the question of 
who's getting the solo today? Right. And, and so um, the answer to the question is, what energy do you want to produce in a give, on a given day? If I want to go into a watery piece, I don't want to uh -huh. do that. I, I want to, <laughs> I want to, I want to get nice and watery. I want to, I want to flow, you know, and, and so, so yes, there are times when you don't want that excitement because this gets, mm. this gets things moving. So, uh, but there may be a time in every day when that is uh, entirely appropriate. So I would say I uh, it's good, good, to, good to have, good to practice, good to have at your disposal. You know, that whole body thing, like when Wayson Liao talks about, when I turn left, I feel the back of my ear. I mean, I guess that brings up the question of how much of the total body we want to feel all the time. Like, do you think it's impossible? Do you just get soggy wood if you feel your nails and also do water? I get the idea that you don't want to like really concentrate on it, but do you want to leave it completely? Do you want to have some feeling in the nails and then you can still be also watery? I say explore it. Yeah. I'd say there's probably a reason why you forgot it is because it wasn't yeah. appropriate. <laughs> there's probably a time when it wasn't appropriate and you and you you didn't uh, you didn't remember to do it because it wasn't didn't feel right. And, yeah, then, yeah. and then he's like, oh, I, I need some more wood right now. And if you remember yeah. this little trick and you know that, mm. yeah, I can I can crank up my wood in mm. in seconds, then why the heck not? Yeah, I might get Richard. soggy wood as a result, but OK. Yeah, yeah, soggy wood, but, you know, Wood and water, the, the water Not feeds the, best combination, water feeds yeah. the wood. Water yeah. feeds the wood. So you, no, you, true. you want, you want to have a foundation in water, and then you say, that's okay, true. now what? You know, that's it true. feeds the wood. Yeah. That's true. Richard. Yeah, very good. Well, I'm just thinking that uh, <clears throat> this, is, this is at least a one life and probably more practice. <laughs> and, that, and that each season, gives you an opportunity to strengthen the energies of that season so that you can carry them forward into the rest of the year. And so That's you keep very doing wise that. Words there, Richard. <laughs> you keep very doing wise. that, doing that, doing that. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. And if you get your wood really strong, then you're feeding into the fire. So you're, when the fire comes around summertime, it's like, ah, you know, you've got this boundless energy that is, you know, oh boy, I can't, you know, you're ready to do anything. And that's why you know, we want to take our time during the winter to be able to really cultivate the, the, the water. And we want to really get the, get the wood going in, in the springtime because, you know, we want to have that going forward. So you're, you're absolutely right, Richard. You want to get in alignment with the season because that is happening in a microcosm inside your organ system anyway. So you might as well line it up and then learn how to control the energies learn how to be selective about which energies you want and also which organs you want to to focus on and and in you know master yang was like you know okay well today's a, a wood day but it's also it's not just a wood day but it's also a a fiery wood day you know and every day of, of the calendar has a different quality, a different mix of the energies. And so it, it much too complicated for my tiny brain to be able to, uh, to absorb, but it was, uh, uh, he was able to keep track. So, uh, <laughs> so moving on, the producer is saying we should move on here. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we're going to uh, do it. Now the other, the next thing, the other part of this wood, this uh, wood that I want to uh, emphasize is this idea of poles in opposition. So this is a drum I beat on a regular basis, but I'm going to do it again. And so we're generating chi. So getting it's one thing to have your fingers, and that's we're in kind of a static position. But once we start moving, then we start to circulate the chi. And but we want to move in such a way that when we're reaching with the hands, with the fingernails, right? We're, uh, we're pulling back with the body. So that there's this opposition between the hands and the body. So your, my hands are going to my left, my body's going to my right. And then I 
pull in with my hands and my body ah, goes to meet. And oh, I'm going to my right now. My body is circling to my left. And so we're going to include some of that as well. So these are things which are going to feed this. I don't know how far we're going to get into the uh, into the actual tiger exercises. So we're probably just going to play with the energies here for a while. But um, uh, let's do that now, shall we? Why don't you stand up? Out. So first, as always, we like to get our three pillars in, because this way we establish that foundation. We get our central equilibrium by feeling into the balls of the feet, by relaxing, softening the knees and allowing ourselves to sink into the earth. Sung, reach with the crown of the head. So that's a yang extension. So we're sinking down into the earth, that's yin, and then we're sinking, reaching up with the crown, and that's, that's yang. Tucking the chin, lengthen the neck, the spine, open the jade pillow gate. Reach with the clavicular notch. Allow your shoulders and chest to open. Feel at the base of your spine, at the, at the coccyx. Allow that to get very sung, flattening out your lower back. Relaxing, you're not forcing anything, you're just allowing that to relax. So you're creating space between the vertebrae. Reach with the elbows so your arms are rounded. Feel your wrists. Relax your shoulders, allow them to open. Feel your fingertips. Feel your fingernails, feel the, feel the claws there. Feel your tiger claws. Spiral down to the left, relax, sink into your left leg. Now spiral down to the right, relax, sink into your right leg and feel that open sung kwa. So just standing here, not doing nothing, but just standing around and feeling into those fingernails, feeling into your claws. Notice the energy that you are generating just by doing this. Sink, bow forward slightly. And then as you straighten up, you're reaching with the elbows, feeling the wrists. Wrists are bent, fingers are dangling, even though you're still holding those fingernails. You're reaching with the wrists now. Reach with the fingers. Reach with the elbows, feel those shoulders opening and feel those fingernails grabbing, your claws are grabbing and drop your elbows just slightly and pull back. Feel like your 
between your nose are biting into the space and you're pulling back and feel them lengthening. Your claws are lengthening as you pull back. your elbows, your wrists, open. Feel your fingers. Keep reaching with the crown. Keep feeling the balls of your feet sinking. Elbows reach and open a bit more. You're getting bigger. Feel the energy moving through the whole system. Reach the elbows, bend the wrists, relax the fingers, let go of the fingernails, let's come down. Empty out. So allow yourself to feel the changes occurring within your body mind. Feel the energy that just got produced there. And there's a different quality to it. Forward sink, reach for the elbows, reach for the wrists, feeling your fingernails, reach with your hands open, sink. Reach out. Feel, feel that tiger energy, that sense of preparation, determination, and you're ready to move. Now feel the ball of your right foot, set your right knee, sink into your right claw, spiraling down. As you do that, your hands are going to go to the left. They're gonna circle around to the left. So you're into your right leg, you're circling around to the left and feel, reach for the elbows, the wrists, the fingers, feel your claws. To the left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the left, and turn to the right. The arms go to the right, your body hangs out, reaching to the left. Feel that same feeling there, that expansion, but there's also the pulling back with the claws. Right ball, set the right knee very big now, open and turn very big. Left ball, set the left knee, barrel down to the left and turn very big, open. Feel your shoulders are open, your elbows are reaching. 
your wrists, your fingernails. To the ball of the right foot, set the right knee. This time you're gonna make it smaller. As you turn, make it smaller, bringing it in. Keep that same big energy, but just a smaller form. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down and turn. Feel those poles in opposition. Make it smaller. And we're gonna take it even smaller still as we go and arms are going to the left now and a, a much smaller energy. Much bigger energy, smaller form. Left wall, set the left knee. Smaller still. Keep feeling that big energy, the energy of that whole form. Right ball, set the right knee, turn, smaller still. You'll feel your elbows, your wrists, your fingernails, the crown of your head. Turning to the right, smaller still. To the left. Keep bringing that energy down. Down, smaller and smaller package, big energy. Allow yourself to feel into the whole body. Feel all the, the, the circulation that's occurring throughout the whole system. Turn to the right. Turn to the left. Back to center. Now without moving, feel all those energies. Don't think about it, just feel it. Bring your hands down. Now feel that wood chi throughout the whole system, throughout your whole body mind. Allow your awareness to go to places where it wouldn't ordinarily, all its habitual haunts. You know, you wanna 
feel into places that you might not ordinarily feel the space between your scapula. Feel your sacrum. Feel your ears. Just allow your awareness to move around. Don't think about them, just feel. Your super conscious mind is processing all this information, even if your conscious mind can't keep up. And she is going exactly where it needs to go. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral down to the left and step in. Deep breath. Really feel your arms. Just circling up. Feel them moving through the space. Very soon. And let go. Allow all that energy to disappear. Allow it to be replaced by the nature chi. You've created a flow. You've primed the pump. Let nature do the work. You get out, you got out of your own way for a moment. Great. Please have a seat. Peter, you had something? Yeah, I have a foolish question. If I heard you, you were the direction was to set the right knee um, and spiral down to the right as you turn the arms to the left. That's was correct. That, yeah. So the way I understood that was that in spiraling down to the right with the right knee set, I'm I'm rotating the ball of the of the um the hip joint to the right like that spiral in spiraling down to the right uh, uh, so what's happening here is if i'm if i want to my arm is going this way i'm spiraling down this way my arms are going that way okay yeah okay so i felt a little bit like right, arms are going to the left Okay, so you're I'm, do you, uh, arms going is, right, body's going left. Is your torso? Oh, the, so the arms are just the angle of the arms is changing. You're not twisting your torso. So I'm 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 pulling here. Boom! I'm I'm locked okay. into here. My torso is 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 lined up, but it's you know it's not like this. It's there's there's a pull right. It's the arms are reaching out that way and and this is pulling this way i don't want to turn all the way so there's a mm, like this boom okay i see right yeah mm -hmm. i thought it, i just what did it, it was a little tricky to do the up to two directions yeah it's tough to describe it too <laughs> i've uh okay thank you you bet got yeah, I just have to say, I think I uh, redlined my cheese storage on that one. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, me too. I, <laughs> really I had to back it off a notch. <laughs> yeah, really felt like oh, this is this is not good. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow something. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I feel you. <laughs> Lynn. That was wonderful. Uh, and I was really interested to feel like as we got smaller, the, the, the shadow body or whatever we want to call it got bigger, right? So the energy that I, I could still touch where my hands had been, even though they were not no longer there. Does nice. Yeah. Totally. That, that's, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that's a beautiful thing. Sharon. Um, I, I had an interesting experience. I've never distinctly felt in different places, different kinds of energy at the same time. Like my feet might've been wiry somewhere else, dense and heavy. And the first time I ever got a sense of what stickiness is, which is what I felt in Yay. my fingertips. <laughs> and, and it was all going on in different places at the same time. Nice. You know? nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to explore the uh, sticky energy too at some point. That, that that's a uh, that, that's a good one. <laughs> Great. Um, anybody else? Cool. Uh, Valerie. Okay, this is silly. <clears throat> when we first started, before you had even mentioned about the nails growing longer, I got this sense of you know flashed on the the women who wear the really long nails um and mine were all lacquered and very silver <laughs> <laughs> so i really got into it zircon insets oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, sparkles everywhere but it's very strong <laughs> uh, lynn so I wanted to ask about that earlier and then I forgot. Um, I have actually have noticed my nails suddenly growing a bunch. Is that just coincidence or does that ha tend to happen with the shift into the this kind of season or? I, I, I think it's more just a, a uh, uh, just your general chi is keeps getting bigger. And so it, it that's you know one of the places that gets it gets fed, you know. Oh. They, uh, so I think it's just it's it's a uh, you know, that's why you'll see a lot of the old masters they won't cut their nails they'll get the uh, get these creepy old, old nails that you know because yeah. it's like oh uh, yeah they don't want to lose their chi you know. <laughs> so, so that's yeah. why you put them, Scott. More chi storage. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Got to put it somewhere. <laughs> yeah good uh anybody else yeah because that's that uh, those nails that's that's part of that that wood thing there so yeah anybody else scott well something that uh i thought about while we were doing this is tigers have claws on their hands and feet right yeah i was kind of focusing a little bit on my toenails too good yeah that was uh that made it really kind of full circle. That that that's great. You know, I didn't want to didn't want to redline you too much here. <laughs> yeah, you did. Anyway. We can we got, keep, keep we keep it keep it temperate here a little bit. Um, cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, great. Um, what else? Um, we don't want to start a new topic, but you want to do the. Medium, large, small, and another simple gesture. No. Okay, do something that's that's not so woody. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's uh, uh, let's let's do that uh, that same kind of idea that uh, small, medium, and large uh, on the on, on a different a different type of motion. Okay. Want to stand up? How about uh, take a step forward with your right foot? So you're in a uh, into a, a bow stance. 
and uh, actually go to your back foot. So you're, you're, we're starting there and we're going to reach with the right hand. So the hand is rotating so that the palm is up. Now you're going like this, reaching, sinking into your, so it's right, so you're feeling the right ball, push your right knee forward, set that, and you're spiraling down and reaching with the right hand. Now feel your elbow, wrist, and rotate. And as you rotate, you're turning. So feel the, feel the extension there, opening. Now feel the left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right, left hand begins to move up, feel your left elbow, your left wrist, fingers reaching out, right hand starts to come down. And then turn to the left, you're rotating. Hands, hands are reaching in opposite directions, feel that. So feel, okay, nice and big. Feel that opening. Now feel the ball of the right foot, push your right knee forward, set that, spiral down to the left, right hand begins to rotate, reach, left hand starts to come down. Reach with your left elbow, right elbow, feel your right wrist and turn, rotating, you're ro turning to the right. Feel the extension open, very big. The left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Left hand rotates, right hand starts to come down. And turn. Now let's make it a little smaller. Right ball, set the right knee, spiral down to the Spiral down to the left, right hand circles up, turn. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral right. Left hand comes up, right hand starts to come down. A little smaller. Keeping that same big energy inside the smaller form. Right ball, set the right knee, spiral left, and reaches. Turn, smaller. Feel the chi, feel your hands buzzing. Feel throughout your whole system, reach with your elbows. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral right. Left hand reaches. Turn smaller still. Right ball, set the right knee, spiral left, right hand, smaller still. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral right, smaller still. Without changing your posture, feel your hands just doing it now. Feel the connections. Even though you're not moving back and forth in your legs, you're feeling the connection through the quad, through your feet, making this arm motion smaller and smaller. Feeling that same chin throughout the system. Now don't move at all, just feel into that, feel all the put, 
possible motions that you've just experienced. and include those in this one posture, all directions at once. And your hands down. Feel into those. all those energies simultaneously. So you're, you're in the field of all possibilities right now. Your ability to make those manifest is determined by your Kung Fu. How much do you work at it? How much effort and time do you put into it? But the potentiality is there. You know where this is. Step back, bow down and step in, deep breath. And disappear the chi. Take a seat. So as we can see, we can put this into anything. Any, you can take that, that process and any movement. So in, when you're practicing, you're practicing a form or qigong or whatever, you just pick a motion and do it. And big, smaller, 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 no movement. Feel the insubstantiality. And allow that to grow. And become so familiar with the insubstantial that you can summon that at will. And that's, that's the, the idiot's guide to internal martial arts right there. So it, uh, you know, this is, this, is, this is the fast and dirty way to get there. You still got to do the work, but, you know, you got the, uh, you got the notes. This is, still got to do it. Rick. You mean fast and clean way to do it, not dirty. <laughs> Yeah, special. Well, it's a little dirty because my whole body is now a chi ant farm. <laughs> Sorry Everybody's, about that. And no, you're it's, welcome. It's, it's and you're great. Welcome. They went. They went everywhere. Cleaned everything. I'm gonna. Nice. I'm gonna start a. I'm gonna start a chi beehive. <laughs> Make really awesome chi honey. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Valerie, being in that place of. Um, potentiality where anything is possible. I really like that. <laughs> really, really good. It was really yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Scott. I don't know if you're doing it right or wrong, but uh, it started pouring while we were doing that. It's what? It started pouring rain while we were doing that. Wow. That, that's yeah. phenomenal. <laughs> it's been 40, 40 days and 40 nights since that happened, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah not, about 60, actually. Okay. <laughs> but um, cool. the difference, the difference, you know, the difference between those two, the, the difference in those energies was just, I mean, you know, between the tiger and just doing that, the energies were, I mean, so different. Very different, right? 
Yeah, and the tiger was so much more young to me that this one almost felt insubstantial, like it wasn't anything, but yeah. it definitely was something. <laughs> Some people got to sleep tonight, Scott. So <laughs> I'm, sick clock here. I'm trying, to, trying to take it down a notch here. <laughs> No, I was just big, I, you know, just the fact that it was so different. You know, so it is very different, yeah. yeah. Equally really powerful, cool. but very different, very different quality. Right. So, you know, recognizing, you know, the different ways you can feel, the different energies you can feel in any given moment is, is uh, this is, we're going to the next level here. So remember last week I talked about first level is feeling that interoception that nei shi, which is that inner looking, you, you actually consciously feel, you consciously move. That opens up to, whenever you do that a while, you opens you up to interpreting energy, understanding energy. And then from there you go to beyond into, into what, you know, the spiritual illumination, illumination phase of the uh, of the Taiji uh, journey. And so, uh, but we experience all three of those in, in an hour here, we get to, <laughs> we get to go all, go to each level, it just, you know, and it keeps spiraling upward. And uh, the more, the more you go there, the more familiar you become with it, the more you more you be, are able to control the factors, which allow these transformations to occur. If you can establish conditions where it is more likely that this will occur, then you'll have you'll become more and more familiar with the root, more and more familiar with the process, and it a, those mysteries become resolved and they open up to even greater mysteries, which is the fun part. Cool. Okay. Love you all. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Thanks, Maria. Thanks, Maria.